Well, nice day here in the area and those temperatures a little fall like, but I'm not going to complain. Let's get right over to meteorologist Connor Thompson for a full look at your first solar weather forecast. Connor. Yeah, it was a really nice day. Despite those cooler temperatures, we saw plenty of sunshine fall like day. Unfortunately, if you're a fan of the fall, I got to say things are changing and it's going to feel more like summer as opposed to fall. So let's get right into it. Sideline radar. Nothing really happening. We see those high clouds lingering over towards the north. Let's say spots near Syracuse over towards uh, Cooperstown, maybe. Uh, but heading out to the wider view, uh, it's pretty quiet for the overnight period. But we are tracking a few disturbances uh, entering our region, mainly right here over the upper peninsula of Michigan. That's that system. We're tracking it. I mentioned the possibility of seeing some storms yesterday. Looking more likely, we're going to see some storms tomorrow. We'll get into that in just a second here. But temperatures, yeah, this is what we mean when we say fall. Like average temperatures should be in the lower 70s. How about lower 60s instead? 62 in Whitney Point, 58 right now in Vestal, 57 in Windsor, 62 in East Sydney Lake, 57 right now in Oneonta, 62 in Montrose, and up in Ithaca, looking at 62 as well. Let's take a look at those headlines. Overall, no issues for tonight, but tomorrow we are tracking uh, some rain and some storms, mainly during the afternoon. Very quick mover, then after that, it's going to be really beautiful weather. With that also comes some above average temperatures, so let's get right into what we can expect. This is the severe weather outlook for tomorrow, and you'll notice that marginal risk up to the north, really only affecting spots like Norwich, for example, almost all of Cortland County and Tompkins County. But you see that marginal risk, so that's a 5 to 14 percent chance that severe weather could develop within that particular area. And just take a look at the biggest risks here. Uh, again, winds are going to be the biggest threat, but again, those on the minor side, a 5 to 14 percent chance we could see some gusty winds over 58 miles an hour develop. So what this means is that, well, it's isolated. I don't think we're going to see a lot of issues with it. Just stay weather aware. Make sure to download the Storm Truck 12 weather app. Uh, you get updates right to your phone. But let's take a look at this on um, Future Track to understand exactly what we're going to see. Overall, like I said, tonight, nothing too crazy. Maybe a few showers early tomorrow morning. Most of the day, though, remaining quiet. Heading to the afternoon, though, you'll notice some showers and storms developing as that weak upper level of the disturbance moves on through. Uh, you notice, though, by around 7 o'clock, it's out of the area for the most part. So about three hours is all the system really is uh, in the area for. As we head to Tuesday, some early clouds, maybe some fog heading into the afternoon, though. Looking at some very gorgeous conditions. So with that, let's take a look at the temperatures. You'll notice low 40s, upper 40s by around tomorrow morning. But look what happens heading to the afternoon. How about mid to upper 60s? Still a bit below average, but a bit more comfortable. Not as cool as what we saw today. Heading to the overnight, looking at Monday to Tuesday, low 50s. And those temperatures will be, again, upper 60s, low 70s. A very nice trend of weather on the way. And you'll notice the forecast highs over the next couple of days. Yeah, I mean, look at that. You really can't ask for anything more than uh, what we're going to see. And if you like the warmth, well, I got some good news. This is the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook. We're still looking as we head towards the middle of the month, a 60 to 70 percent chance of seeing above average temperatures. So uh, don't put away those summer clothes quite yet. Don't get out those knitted sweaters because you can see warm weather is expected. High pressure moves on in and then look at all that sunshine. This is why I'm going to call out work. So, same with Brian and Howard. You know, we, you're not needed for this upcoming week because it's going to be absolute downright gorgeous. You see 70 on Tuesday, 76 on Wednesday, mostly sunny skies all the way through. And looking at temperatures by the weekend in the upper 70s and lower 80s. Kevin?